Hi guys, how are you today? So in this video, I'm kind of going to go over what to do when your rabbit got fleas. So right now you can kind of see him hiccuping because he's been out of his, in his cage all day. Um, I have my two rabbits here, that's Boomy and that's Oliver over there. So uh, there's a couple methods that you can to boot off with when it comes to how to handle uh, fleas on your rabbit. Now fleas on your rabbit, it sucks. It really does suck and it's a lot, in my own opinion, it's a lot more harder to treat than you would with a, like a cat or a dog. Um, mostly because rabbits, although they are very fluffy and look like a cat or a dog, kind of like in their stature, they're very fragile and they're very sensitive to a lot of things, especially treatments and chemicals and whatnot. So um, on houserabbit.org, I kind of got a couple strategies here that really worked out well for me. And um, first things first, I'm gonna go over the apple cider vinegar technique. So I got this little spray bottle here and um, I got it half water, half apple cider vinegar. And what you do with this is you pretty much, he hates me every time I do this, but you kind of just spray it onto them, get it like kind of up in their fur and then kind of like rub it in. Now you don't want to use too much vinegar because rabbits hate, hate, hate the smell of vinegar. And this is not fun for them, but it's proven to have some good health benefits and you want to make sure you don't get it in their eyes or anything. Um, and you don't want to use strong vinegar because that, again, as I was going over with how fragile they are, it's not really something they enjoy, but it's, it has, I have noticed that there's almost zero to none fleas after doing this every day for like a week or two. So I really, 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 really recommend the vinegar technique. But if your infestation on your bunny is pretty severe and they look sluggish, they're not willing to walk around, or go about their bunny days, it's probably getting to the point where some bunnies can develop anemia, which is pretty much like low iron content in the blood. And that can be proven to be fatal. So you cannot go untreated with fleas. It isn't like that cat that you've had that you've had fleas for years. Like, no, it's, you gotta treat them almost immediately. And um, if it's known to get bad, I recommend Advantage Large Cat. Now, um, there is a disclaimer I'm gonna tell you about when it comes to, that's my goldfish over there. Disclaimer when it comes to using flea medicine is that you should definitely get a vet's recommendation for it because it can, you can overdo it with this and it can be bad, have a bad outcome. But um, as the internet has so gently disclosed to me, Advantage Cat and um, there's another brand I'd have to get back to you on in the description that has been proven safe for rabbits and I've actually used this and nothing has happened. It's, it's been very well for me. Uh, fleas overall are a very hard thing to get rid of. So you kind of have to keep going at it for a while. Um, but those like cheap flea treatments that you'd find at like Walmart or, or online for like very, very cheap, I would never, ever, ever, ever use. You could probably kill your bunny using that. Um, Flea treatments such as Advantage Large Cat or Advantage any brands are usually like $30, $40. Anything below that, I really, really w would recommend. Not even for your own cats because it has been proven to be fatal in some cases just because the chemicals that they use in those treatments are are not good. Just not good, period. I, I couldn't give you the details. I just know that you really, really want to consult a vet or do your research before you put anything on your rabbit, especially treatment wise. The treatment can be more worse than the actual infestation. Now, another thing that I like to use is, um, got these off of Amazon, is flea combs. Flea combs have been working good for me, especially you can kind of see the white hair on there. I forgot to take off for um, like thicker bunny breeds where the fur is a, the fur's a lot more thicker. And um, it's, been, it's been very, very useful, especially his shedding that's going on this time because it's in July as I'm as I'm recording this um I yeah I would definitely use your flea comb now when it comes to flea combs if once you like comb out the fleas you want to dip the comb in a uh, dawn dish soap solution because that will kill the fleas almost instantly and those fleas once they jump off the comb are very 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 tricky to get to and um here's Oliver here <laughs> I, uh, so pretty much there's a couple things that you have thrown out there. Um, this definitely would be a last resort. Uh, combing and squirting the vinegar, I think is the best bet. It's, that's been proven to be very good for me and it really helps with the hygiene of the animal itself as well. Getting all that excess sure, uh, fur out. Um, my bunnies are very happy. I let Boomy down here free roam. Uh, and then Oliver, I usually keep in my cage and let him out once or twice a day. Uh, 
They're very, very amazing pets, and you gotta, you gotta love them. You gotta give them the freedom to really shine. Now, another thing that I wanted to include when it comes to having fleas on your animals, bunnies, as you can, Oliver is doing for us right now, is um, they groom themselves. You really, 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 really do not want to give them a bath. You could actually kill them from that. As I was going over earlier, they are very fragile. And bunnies have been known to, if they get scared enough or stressed out enough, they can literally just have heart failure and die. So I'm not exaggerating. It can happen. So you really, really, really do not want to strip them of their oils and freak them out by giving them a bath. So please keep that in mind. Baths are off limits. Wouldn't even consider it. So um, yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'm going to need you to hit that subscribe button, please, and thank you. And overall, have a great day.